And then your Uncle Marshall and I had one of our famous telepathic conversations. Check out Robin's date. I know. Is that who I think it is? Yup. It's Sandy Rivers. What are you doing? What's it look like? It looks bad is what it looks like. You cannot do this. Marshall, she's a really cool girl when you get to know her. Besides, I'm trying to make Robin jealous. Oh, that's real mature. Marsha, what is up with you and Ted? Nothing, baby. Don't worry about it. Fine, do what you want. Hey. Lily, I know you're asleep, but I have to tell someone this, and we tell each other everything, so here it goes. Mary's not a paralegal. She's a prostitute. Lily, I need you to look at me right now and read my mind. Oh my god, you're hearing me. Yeah. Sorry, this party's so boring. What's up? Do not open my gift. See what I'm doing here? I'm looking over at the gift, then back at you. And I'm shaking my head, no. What do you think? We could help her out. No, Stella. We should help her out. Let's pay for dinner. Dude, Carl's gonna kill us if we don't take everyone out of here right now. Barney, I'm serious. We promised we wouldn't mess the place up. All right, I guess you have a point. Don't you give me that look. Lily, I can't take it anymore. Your way of coaching is crazy. Stop yelling at me. Sorry, but can I please do it my way. Fine, but I'm gonna do it my way too. I'm getting my guitar. Okay, people, we're in a delicate but very, very promising situation here. If we play the next 30 seconds right, Ted will dye his hair blonde. What are we all thinking about? Nachos? Ted knows we response to one thing above all else. I don't know, I'm still kind of full from lunch. A bunch of people emphatically telling him not to do something. Follow my lead. Guys, this might be the depression talking, but is Ted's hair starting to look kind of good? Thank God, I thought I was the only one. He looks like a freaking movie star. Go with it. Crap, Lily's having a baby and I'm having a panic attack. I hope she can't tell what I'm thinking right now. I can. And I'm freaking out too. There's an alien growing in my stomach that's gonna explode out of my vagina. Do you think the others can tell we're freaking out? They're totally onto us, what do we do? Just keep smiling, maybe wave. No, no, wave, that makes no sense. I'm committed. I'm riding this wave straight to hell. Let's leave, then the waving will make sense. Dude, this is your chance. Set me free and I will lie you out of this creepy nightmare. This is a tough one. On the one hand, we might die. On the other, you're jinxed. Let me free, Marshall. This guy could be violent. Violent. Viola. <laughs> Frank Viola. We might have to... Take care of Ranjit. Hey, you just finished my... Creepy telepathic murder thought. Oh, it must be a soulmate thing. Unless it's a weird cousin thing. Oh, boy, who's this idiot? And which one of us is he going to try to make the sex on? Bro, going for the tricycle. <laughs> Can you imagine having a three-way with this creep? <laughs> yeah, right. You, me, and this guy naked going at it. <laughs> then he gets tired and it's just you and me going at it. Uh, let me That'd be so stupid. So stupid. Help me, who is this? Maybe he's one of your long-lost Canadian cousins? Uh, do you happen to have all of your fingers and teeth? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not one of my cousins. I like that he gets how hilarious and adorable we are. We are hilarious and adorable. This guy's awesome. So awesome. i totally go to jail for him. That hurts. <laughs> Dude, knock it off. Knock what off, bro? This is my apartment, my Kenny Roosevelt conversation. I get the girl. Oh, so the fact that you're the incumbent means she should just pick you? Tell that to William Howard Taft. 